All right, welcome back to my channel, everyone. We're gonna be doing my mom's nails today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little intro to show you that she's had them on for uh, maybe a week and a half, or no, it's probably maybe two weeks or so, and I haven't grown out that much, but since we have time and we're spending time together, I'm gonna redo them. Um, I'm gonna show you how to take the how I take the gems off that I put on. They haven't moved at all, which is good. And then this purple glitter is just something my niece put on. So I'm gonna take the gems off and then prep her nails and show you what I do. So just keep watching. I know, right? Thirty minutes into the video. Oh Jesus, I'm gonna have to speed this part up. Okay. You see how long that took? <laughs> I might as well do the other one. Yep. Bring them up a little bit because I just wanna be more safe and sorry that I'm in the frame and not. Oh my god. Wow. I did such a good job. You need a jackhammer. <laughs> the way I did these is I put um some aqua gel around, or people call it aqua gel, but it's poly gel, I mean, whatever the hell you call it, um, around it, and then I put top coat over it and embedded the gems into it so that when I wanted to seal them in, they would be really sealed. But now they're really, really sealed and I can't even get them off. But that's a good thing, because if I'm putting gems on someone, I don't want them calling me the day after saying, hey, my gems fell off. Right. Because that's not fun, and I don't usually don't have time to... Well, I mean, sometimes you have time to fix it, but sometimes you don't. And it's better off to... Jeez. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is going to be sped up, hopefully. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to drill through it, but... I was I have to drill around them because they won't come off. Wow. Oh my gosh, there we go. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Now that the gems are off, which that's the end of the video because it took a hour. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is just I wish I had a little more light. You know what? Okay, so I'm just gonna start by prepping her nails when I use I just use, um, this is a carbide bit, it's a, red means fine, and it's a um, safety bit, so it's rounded on the top, so I can't hurt her, and it doesn't affect the skin, it's very soft, so I'm usually pretty good with the drill, but it's always best to be cautious anyway. So I'm going to take some bulk down a little bit, go around the cuticle, take off all the shine, and since her nails have grown out, a little bit of the bulk has pushed out to the end of the nail so that we'll have to take it down just a tiny bit so that it doesn't look really built up. And what I normally do, this is just a builder in a bottle gel so it's really, it's a lot softer. You could file it by hand if you want but this really takes a lot less time. So I just kind of go in, prep. We would sometimes, we usually do a color over it but this time we just did the builder so it actually makes my life even easier. Are we taking them down today? Do you want to? Uh, a little bit. Just a tiny bit? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take down the shape a, a little bit, or the length, I mean. So hopefully you can see. So what I do is hold it here, and then I push, I hold her skin underneath here, and pull back with this other finger, so that I don't get her finger, because I did that before, and it doesn't feel good. And then you just slowly and gently go across the bottom. Take your time. It takes practice to learn how to do it, because... I used to do it so many times and it would come out crooked, but just take some length off the edge and then you can file it with a file after to get the shape that you really want. And we'll do this next nail. This one had the gems on it, but since that I already took the gems off, I can just file through that stuff. It is kind of dusty, but I, hopefully in the future I'll get a dust collector. So that I won't have to worry about it. 
And I just go around kind of prepping. I'm not touching the natural nail with this because I don't really need to. I have other bits that'll do that. But I'm just trying to get the majority of the nail looking good. And then once again, sorry if my hand's in the way. I'm still getting used to this filming. I'm gonna do a little bit of off the edge here. Alright. And I don't want the whole video to be me just prepping her nails, so I'm just going to do this and I'll speed it up a little and then in, we'll get back to you when I come back and we're all prepped and ready to add the product on. So keep watching. And you can do this all by hand if you want, if you're not skilled with a drill at all. It just takes a lot longer and a lot more patience. So whatever preference you like. Perfect. All right, so now that I filed them down and shortened them a little, I'm just going to go in with my hand file and shape up the edges a little so that they are where I want them to be. I think you should always shape before you apply product, just a little bit to get the, just to get where you want to be before you start, and then after you apply the product, you should go back in always and get the shape that you want for the end. So we'll go in. Someone once told me that if you hold the file up and kind of taper it in a little more towards the client, it'll make it a more straight, um, kind of square. We do a soft square on my mom. So I just take the corners in a little so that they're not pokey at all. And then it looks really nice. So I'm going to file these up real quick and then we'll get into going into the cuticle bits and see, show you what I use to get the result that I like so that it sticks really well to her nail.
All right, everybody. So this is the end result of Mom's nails. I'm gonna zoom in. I filled them in with a builder in a bottle clear, and then we went with a simple kind of um, taupey kind of color, taupey gray, I guess you could call it. It's still kind of winter here, so we're still getting doing a little bit of a darker colors, even though it's not too dark. And that's the end result. Oh, again. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.